In today's episode, we're going to be handling drag and drop and also swapping spots uh, between the slots. So, if you see here, we can now drag, we can swap out our our inventory slots and everything is working perfectly. There will be a edit in the middle of this uh, with a bug fix and uh, yeah, we, we have to do that, otherwise it, this is not going to work properly. Anyway, let's get right into it. The first thing that we need to do is we are going to create a drag and drop today. So if I go in here and we play, I can't do anything with these these slots. So that's what we're going to do. If you go into your content drawer to inventory and then over to interface and in your inventory slot inside here, go to your graph and we want to override a function called on drag detected however we want to do this over on preview mouse down if you do it on the other one left mouse button won't work as normal i think there's a fix to it but we're going to use on preview mouse down in this tutorial out from geometry you want to type absolute to local out from mouse event get screen space position and plug that in like so Promote this to a variable. Call it drag offset. Plug it in. Out from mouse event, detect drag if pressed. And plug in the return value. On the little keyboard thing here, click it and then left click once more to assign it to the left mouse button. Compile and save that and close out out. The next function that we're going to override is on drag detected. Move it out like so and unplug it. The first thing that we're going to check if we're going to drag it is that if it's valid. So if it's a valid class and do a branch out of that boolean. If it is one, simple, we want to do a create drag drop operation. The class, we haven't made it yet. The return value goes into the operation and the payload is yourself the visual is yourself and the offset we're just going to leave it at that i don't know if we are going to use the drag offset that we created earlier anyway i think zero zero is going to do just just fine for us open up your content drawer head over to inventory create a new folder call it drag drop Inside of drag drop, what you want is to make a new blueprint class of type all classes and then drag drop operation. Call this one inventory drag drop. Open it up. Open up your content drawer once more, right click anywhere and select blueprints and then structure. We're going to call this one dragged item details. Inside dragged out of details, we want to know the item. Although I am starting to believe that maybe we don't need that. Yeah, so let's not do that. Just destroy this dragged item details. We're not going to do it like that. We might go back and do it, but we're not going to do it for now. Back into your slot, we are going to override another function. And this is where everything will be happening. It's in our on drop so when we drop uh, our, our uh, item drag we're going to cast to the operation so cast to drag inventory drag drop and then out from that what we want to do is we want to get item okay maybe, maybe we actually do need it I thought we could just do thought we could do self on that because this the payloads get payload maybe let's see that get payload get item nah okay so head back into your drag drop do what we previously did not want to do but we're now going to do it anyway we're going to create Inside of our inventory drag drop, we're going to create 
two variables here instead. Right? So we're going to do master item on the first one, class reference, call it item. Second one being the quantity, which will be a integer. And we're going to expose these and make them editable. Like so, back in your slot, uh, on drag detected. Let's refresh this one. Is it the right one? No. Great drag drop operation. Well, that's not. There we go. Now, actually, I want to check if if I do this. If I actually just rename this to ASD and I go back here, I refresh this, and then if I go to on drop, can I get item? No, can I get payload? Then get item. No. Okay. Editable expose and spawn, like so. Over on the drag detected, refresh it. The item is our item. The quantity is our quantity. And we actually might need to do a index as well. So add the index, refresh it once more. And we need to set that to editable, of course. Refresh that once more. And the index is our index, which we have not set up quite yet. So we're going to leave it like that for now. Let's head over to on drop and start working on this. So now what we can do is get item. And what we want to do is we want to check if if uh, our item, uh, the one that we're on right now trying to drop on, if that is valid. If what we are trying to drop it on is not valid, then we are going to get our HUD ref. Set, uh, do, 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 not the real element here. Get the slots, get inventory, there we go. And we're going to get slots, get inventory slots, like so. And we want to set array element. So if it's not valid, we want to set the array element. We want to set it twice. The first one we're going to set is the one that we're coming from. So get the index of the one we're coming from. We want to set the item and we want to get the quantity and set it there, size to fit. Now we want to update our slot here. So do another set array element. This one being our index, which we still haven't set up. So let us um, actually work with that right now. We're going to head over to our interface, I believe, and then in our inventory. Every time that we create a slot, so let's head over to our slot once more. Create a new variable, call it uh, index. We're going to do a integer. Meh. We'll do a integer, expose that, and make it editable. When we are creating it, we're going to set the index to the array index, like so. Head back to your slot. Now we can put our index like that. And the item is going to be blank, the quantity is going to be blank, and then we need to refresh everything. And now let's also set the index to our index. So now we have the from and the to. So on the drop, what we're going to do is we are just going to get our HUD. OK, 
get our inventory and we're going to reinitialize this. Then return with a true, like so. Let's give it a shot. So now we can see that nothing is actually happening, and that's because it's mm, it's valid. So if it's not valid, hmm, what is happening over here? Stupid me. The the uh, index that we want to put item in is here, and the item that we want to be blank is the one that we're going from. So if I go here now, and now we can swap that around. Okay, this is future Tommy coming to you here. We need to make something else that I forgot to do, and we need to go to inventory, and then we don't to go to drag and drop. We need to create a new widget blueprint. Uh, call it drag visual. So right click user interface widget blueprint, drag visual. In here, what you want to do is you want to make a size box. I'm putting it to 64 by 64, and you want to add a icon your image into your. Uh, size box so I'll type in image and then drag it in make it variable open off the graph and in the construct what you want to do is when you get the item uh you want to make a variable sorry you want to get it make a variable called item make it of type master item ed editable and expose and spawn you want to grab that out like so get the defaults and break it open to get the icon Grab out your image icon, set brush from texture, and plug in the icon itself. Now we need to head over into our into our slot again. So over on your inventory slot, over on graph. After you do the check for true, you want to create a widget. So create widget like that. Find your drag visual that we just made. Plug in the item of the slot that we're currently in and then plug that into default drag visual okay that's all now what we want to do is out from true we want to promote these to a local variable so local quantity from local item from and local index from like so and then we want to set array elements so the array element that we want to set is uh, so this is the one that's from we need to update that index so let's update that index, local index from, we need to update that with our info that we have over here. So size that to fit and the item is our item and the quantity, not quantity from, sorry, our quantity is that. And then we want to do another set array element size to fit, split that, and we want to set it to the, yeah, we need to go R index here, like that, and the item is the one that's we're going from, and the quantity is the one that's coming from. Head down to the initialize, file save, and let's try it. As you can see, something is not going well, and that's not supposed to be is it god damn it it's supposed to be quantity like that compile save and if i move it you can see that it's going that's it for this episode in the next one we're going to be saving and loading our slot contents hope i'll see you then bye bye